Here at 007 Labs, I build all sorts of James Bond tech. This is one of my designs for something, but I want you to guess in the comments below what you think it is, what I built it for, but more importantly, what would you use it for if you'd built it? I'm Drew, your NeuroSpicy Polymath. Stick with me in this video, I'll give you a full spec rundown on how I built it, and it'll be up to you in the comments to let me know what you think and what it is. Maximum points in the comments below if you get it right. So let's talk you through some of the unique features of this mechanism then. So first of all, we've got the main spur gear here, which is aluminum. We've also got a small pinion. Now this is an external potentiometer. This is a, this is a five turn potentiometer. The pan features a 10 turn potentiometer. Um, this is ratioed differently as well, since the pan needs to be able to do a full 180, uh, 360, whereas the tilt only needs to do 90 degrees. So I've got some super monster servos in here, which are like 35 kilos of torque, and it's a gear ratio of about one to 10, just under one to 10. And by using an external potentiometer where I've hacked into the servo and brought that out, it means that I can use a pinion gear on here so that one 90 degree revolution is five turns of that potentiometer, which allows me to then get really high resolution linearity. And these are military spec potentiometers. They've got a temperature coefficient of just a couple of hundred, uh, sorry, just a couple of dozen uh, PPM. Uh, is These are bearing mounted as well. We've got flange bearings in here. This is a three eighths of an inch shaft, nearly 10 millimeters diameter stainless steel shaft. We've got double hubs as well on the gear for extra strength. These are three millimeter aluminum CNC machine plates. And you can see it's completely symmetrical. Uh, and there's a former that goes over here. It's completely enclosed, which is where you see this step for the double layered aluminum plates there. Um, and the, the system here with the cage work means that this thing could drop on the top and it would survive. This is the servo mount plates. And in here I've got a power supply module with uh, independent 10 amp power source for each of the servos, which are running at 8.4 volts. And you can see metal gears throughout and the pan system works the same way. So if we rotate the pan around, what you'll notice is that in fact, the the main spur gear actually stays still look and the entire system rotates around that spur gear main shaft now i will give you a full breakdown inside of some of the features because in this pan deck area here there's a roller bearing as well a stainless steel roller bearing which is good for about four to five hundred pounds um, so you can put a phenomenal weight on there. I just got a speaker stand here with a top hat mount and uh, that's fine for what it's used for at the moment. Um, we've also got Visonic uh, Vision Lock which are uh, just converters for the PWN signals coming from the servos uh, to give me a little bit more control of how smooth it is but the speed of it is very impressive and because of the because of the torque you don't want to get near it because it will completely have your fingers off so now you've had your brief look at my design for this james bond tech let me know in the comments below what do you think i built it for what is it used for but i'm really interested to get your creative ideas as to what you would add on it and any other ideas you want to share with me in the comment section below. I can't wait to read them. In the meantime, you know how we do. Double O seven labs. Beyond experimental. <laughs>